Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself for the best favorites video ever! Jazz hands. Jazz hands. September has been insane, and I feel like I have so many favorites for you guys, it's a little bit redonkulous, but hey, my fearless tribe, how are you? If you're new to my channel, then hello, shalom, I hope you come back another time. But I have been um, a little bit all over this month. Not really. I went to London for a week, and I feel like that's why it just feels like... <sighs> September was a special time. I did go to London this month for a week with my friend Loie here on YouTube, Loie Lane. Um, her clothing line just came out for Society Plus and it was in UK Plus Size Fashion Week. It was an awesome week. Um, I'm going to hop into my favorites because I have to just start out by saying London was a major favorite. My girl Loie's a major favorite. I know that's probably weird to include nouns, well, pronouns as a favorite. But I hadn't seen Loe since May when we went to Generation Beauty in California. Um, it was so good to see her. We had a whole week together. I miss her bunches. Hopefully we can reunite again soon. But I do have some favorites from London that I'm going to start out with. So a major favorite was Harrods. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Harrods. It's like this major, major, major department store over in London. Um, we went there almost every day, either for tea time or shopping or something. It was just a really great place. Um, so I did a decent amount of shopping while I was there. Honestly, I bought a lot of stuff just for friends and family, um, like cookies and teas and things like that. By the way, personal favorite, I wish I had bought the tea. I don't know. I'm not really a big tea drinker, to be honest, but I did drink one at... Um, Lottery in Harrods and it was so good. It was called the Marie Antoinette tea <sighs> Loey, thank you for getting me hooked on that so good I'm gonna try to find it online because honestly I miss it. It was so so good But I did pick up one thing for myself Well, I picked up a couple things for myself at Harrods one of them I was really excited about it's from um, sprinkle of glitter here on YouTube Her name is Louise if you don't watch her. She's actually um British, but I got her 2016 planner and I'm really excited about it. It's have the best year of your life. It's like a diary, but it also is going to work for me as a planner. Um, so it's really cute. It has like your week scheduled out, but then every few pages it has like just really cute stuff like look ahead to summer, uh, doodle what you'll do. Like really, really like cute little ways to um, make things more special. How to make festival themed bunting. I'm assuming that's food or something, I'm not sure. <laughs> Get flip-flop ready, your favorites for a slumber party, like, it's just really the epitome of adorable. I'm really excited. Um, I really love Sprinkle of Glitter, Louise, I don't know why I'm calling her that, but I was so excited to see this, and it was, like, really fairly priced, too, so get a girl. Because I went to Harrods so much, I felt it was only appropriate to get a Harrods wallet. How freaking cute is this? It's black with rose gold um, Harrods written on it, but then the back has, like, um, rose gold underlay or overlay I don't know it's lay I don't know <laughs> but I really love this wallet um, I just had to get something that said Harrods on it because it made me like super happy um, and now it will always remind me of London so yay <laughs> in this bag I kind of just have some trinkets for my family like postcards I got my uncle some cookies just stuff like that but I bought a lot of random goodies at Harrods, so that was a major favorite. Oh, another thing I bought at Harrods. Okay, so I did decide to splurge on myself with this a little bit, or a lot of it. I never, ever buy myself uh, fancy perfume. I'm literally like a Bath and Body Works girl. Like, <laughs> I take my thousand wishes, and I spray myself, and I move on. But I really wanted to get myself a nice perfume, and I actually haven't put any on yet today. Um, I'm going to put some on. It's the Dolce & Gabbana um, Pour Femme. I don't know if that's just the name of it. It's like a classic packaging. By the way, this box is like red velvet and it feels so good. Uh, okay, but literally. Um, Harrods had like fancy stuff. They had, it was mostly higher end things to be honest. Um, they had the cosmetics department, like, actually they had some really high end stuff. It was mostly high end stuff, but um, we were going around because we both wanted to like get ourselves a perfume, Loie and myself, and I literally smelled this, and like the second I smelled it, I kind of knew, especially once it's set into the skin, it's really weird because I, I literally never get fancy perfumes, so I know I probably sound like a big dork right now, <laughs> but when they settle on your skin, they smell so different than when you first put them on. Um, so this is the newest addition to my family. So all you need is like one to two spritzes. It smells so good. It lasts a really long time. I just, I don't know, it smells almost sweet to me, but it smells like grown-up sweet. I really love that. I definitely put a good splurge on it, but I think it will last a really long time because you don't need much. I just, oh, I don't know why. 
And now when I smell it, I think of like London and I think of traveling and I just feel really happy. So when I put it on, it just, it's a good feeling. The next thing I got, my boyfriend judged me for hardcore <laughs> in the drugstore there. Okay, so first of all, I'm a little bit like, Joop, because I've never gotten Batiste before. I've seen everybody use it, but for some reason, I don't feel like I've seen it where I am. Maybe we don't have it in Massachusetts. Maybe I'm just blind and I missed it. Um, but in the UK, Ella Henderson, I think, won... Um, I don't know if she won like a, the UK voice or something, but I love her. I have her album and it's absolutely amazing. So when I was over in the UK, I feel like I was hearing her everywhere I went. Like I saw her in commercials, I heard her in restaurants, and then I saw she had her own dry shampoo. And of course, Alan was like, you bought it because she's on the bottle. Like, I know you love her. You bought it for that reason. I'm like, no. <laughs> yes. But it literally smells so good. It's supposed to be oh, so good. Sweet and seductive dry shampoo from Batiste. Hopefully it's not Batiste Day and I'm saying it wrong, Batiste, Batiste Day. I don't know. Clearly I've never bought it before, I've just seen people using it on the internet. It smells really good. I do love Ella Henderson, so I was really excited to buy this. I know I'm a dork. Judge me. I bought a lot of drugstore makeup over in the UK because they had a lot of brands that I haven't seen here. So I do have a separate video of like a London drugstore haul and I also have a first impression video of doing my whole face with the products. But a couple that I've been using like every day because I love them so much. Actually another one too I've been using. Um, so first and foremost, I really liked the brand Sleek. That was probably one of my favorites. Um, this is the Control Shine and Prime Mattifying Primer. I have been using this every day since I got home, and it makes my skin baby bottom smooth. It's oh, it's amazing, and I have a lot of texture to my skin because of um, acne scarring and things like that, so it helps a lot make my skin look smooth, and actually people have been asking me what's making my skin smooth, and that's a major part of it. I am on a skin journey right now. <laughs> So corny saying that um, but I did start going to the dermatologist and I'm using doxycycline and it's been about three weeks maybe and I feel like it's helping tremendously but I will keep you guys posted on that the other makeup I got um, another one was from sleek I've been using this every day I'm obsessed it's the brow tint um, in light brown it's just literally a little brow gel <laughs> I don't know what it is about it the colors perfect it just it adds so much fullness to my brow without having to pencil it in and I've never experienced something so great for my brows. It's corny but like it's a quick fix when I don't feel like going hardcore. It makes them look bomb. So I don't know. I loved that. And then I went to Topshop. I know, I recently discovered actually we have Topshops here in the US. We just don't have any near me um, up in the New England area. So for some reason I didn't think we had them here at all. My bad. But um, we did go to Topshop in London and I did get their Horizon Highlighter. And it's absolutely incredible. I am wearing it today. Hopefully you can kind of see it. But uh, the color is absolutely incredible. It just gives this beautiful golden glow to the skin. Oh my god. I just... It just... Oh. Ah, ah, ah. And how cute is that packaging? It's like matte white with off-centered stars. Um, everything in Topshop was quite lovely. I just didn't want to go too hard after buying myself that perfume. So I do have some skincare favorites as well. So I did get this, I believe, in my BoxyCharm box. It's the Provise 1-6 to six skin type thing. I, I don't know. I have something else from them, and I really liked it as well. It was like um, this toner for the skin, but this I've been using every day. It's not irritating my skin. It's so hydrating. This is their Hydro Milk, and I use it actually every morning and every night. I was using my Simple Moisturizer, which I do love as well, but then I got this in the box and I switched over, and I'm loving it. Like, I just, I don't know. It feels really good on the skin. I feel like I'm really hydrating. So I got this in that box, and I'm really, really, really loving it. I'm not usually a moisturizer kind of girl. I always do moisturize because I know I have to, but because my skin is so acne prone, I was like nervous to try it, but I think my skin is kind of bringing it down. The next thing I have is from MAC. It's the Fast Response Eye Cream. I have been using this in the morning and I feel like it helps my puffiness so freaking much. I don't know what it is about it, I just feel like it's helping tremendously. If you have puffy eyes in the morning, um, I feel like this really, really helps. I just take a little bit on my ring finger and I dab, 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 dab. And I, I don't know. I didn't think my eyes were like puffy until I tried this and I feel like it helped. Because if I have to get up and do makeup like early in the morning, I don't have time to like wake up, this kind of helps me speed up that process. Also for MAC, I have been loving their makeup wipes. Um, I use them, I do work for MAC. I have been using them at work, but I never actually had them on my own. <sighs> Guys, 
They smell so damn good and they're so refreshing. They just get everything off and I feel like they leave the skin feeling hydrated too. And I feel like I'm all about hydration lately for some reason, probably because we're going into the cooler months. I don't want to have to worry about my skin crippling up like Spongebob when he didn't have any water in Sandy's vortex. Now jumping into hair care, I have a couple products that I have been using um, that's actually in my hair today. I feel like my hair looks really shiny. Um, as you guys know, I do get highlights. My hair is not naturally half blonde, half brown, all of this. It's fake. But to keep it looking all healthy and lovely, I have been using this. It's almost gone and I'm getting sad. I got this in my, I think, BoxyCharm box two months ago and I use it every single time I shower, like every other day, bomb.com. It's from Gorge. It's the I'll Make You Look Amazing Daily Spray. It's the Magic Leave-In Conditioner. <sighs> I'm gonna miss you, sweet, sweet friend. I actually probably will purchase this somewhere because I'm freaking obsessed with it. Um, it makes my hair so easy to brush out. It makes it so shiny. Detangles, just, it's perfect. It just makes my hair feel so, so, so good. And then I got this little sample in my Ipsy bag. This is the Kardashian Beauty Black Seed Dry Oil. And I just take a little bit of this on the ends. And together, when I, like, blow up my hair and make it straight, it just looks so good. But this, this is everything. This is everything. I already talked a little bit about makeup, but I have a couple favorites that I'm wearing today that I've been wearing, like, all month since I got them anyway. Um, I have been wearing this like crazy. So on my cheeks, I have Max Prism. This is their matte powder blush. I freaking love this color. Like, it's a perfect everyday color that you can just pop on. On the days I don't feel like wearing bronzer, I will throw this on the cheeks, and it just adds a little bit of a natural glow to the face. It's just the perfect perfect blush. I don't know. I've been obsessed with it. Um, on my eyeballs, I am wearing, this is actually from my Ipsy bag from this month. I really wanted to put it in a favorites because the colors are freaking gorgeous. This is from NYX. It, they combined with Ipsy for the bag this month. If you want to watch that unboxing, I will link it down below because I think I've referenced it a few times. Um, but this is the Ipsy NYX palette. <laughs> That's all it is. There's no name. Uh, but I am wearing it on my eyes, if you can see it at all. I only used these three colors. I put this light color on my lid, the brown in my crease, and I deepened up the outer corner with this, like, dark... It's Is it black or navy blue? I don't know. I want to say navy blue, but I feel like it might be black. I don't know. Love this palette. I've worn it probably a dozen times since I got it. That's not true. Maybe like five because I just got this like a week ago, but I really, I like it. I like it a lot. And I've been getting constant comments when I wear this lip color um, and actually lip combo. The pencil is MAC Spice and then I'm using MAC Touch on the lips. It's a really pretty combo actually. I never really thought of myself as like a brown lip kind of gal and then I put it on and I was like, hey girl, hi, check out my reflection in the viewfinder. I'm so awkward. I have a few random favorites. On my nails, I am wearing the Elegant Touch Polished Eleanor Nails. I don't know. I got this in a gift bag when I was in London. I am wearing them on my nails now. It's like this gorgeous matte color of periwinkle, kind of. I've had them on my nails for like a week, and they haven't come off at all. And I'm really, really, really impressed. Um, I don't know if we have this brand at home or not, but I really, really love the color. And last but not least, the most important, best for last, I have a new item in my clothing line on Real Style. If you guys don't know, I do have a clothing and lipstick line um, that I have created myself, and I have it all linked down below if you want to check it out. I have like t-shirts that have really cute phrases on them that I like to use personally, and I have um, lipstick on there. And then I just added this Fearless Tribe makeup bag, which is so cute. It's the perfect size. It's like a little canvas bag. I actually brought this with me when I travel. It's just... I don't know, I love it, because I feel like it's not too small where you like don't want to just throw it in your bag. It's enough to like travel, but it's not massively sized. Um, and I know you guys really like to rimp, 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 rep the Fearless Tribe, where all the Fearless Tribe has cute little compact and lipstick. I loved the print, I just, I don't know, my Fearless Tribe is like my little family, my big family on here, you guys are my, my people. So if you want to represent, I will link down below where you can shop for this and my other items, yeah. I honestly feel like I could keep going, but I'm going to stop now because <sighs> I think I've been rambling a long time and I had so much to show you. I have one last thing. These are the Halloween Starburst candy corns. They're a Starburst in candy corn form. And they're really good. Like, they're really, really good. Mmm. 
I put things in glasses to make them look cuter. But Alan loves these. He loved them last year and I got them and we eat them and I like them. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you should try them. Not sponsored. I love you guys so much. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, I love you. I think I already said that. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye! <laughs>